y-intercept. I plug in a 0 for x. Oh, 0 over 0. So sad. We cannot divide by 0. 0 cannot go in the bottom of the fraction, so there's no y-intercept. Horizontal asymptote. This is an eats dc situation. The exponents are the same, so I'm going to divide coefficients. My horizontal asymptote is going to be 4 over 1. y equals 4 over 1. y equals 4. Next, I factor. This factors on top to 4x, x plus 2, over x, x minus 3. And remember, this x and this x are the same. There's a common factor. I'm looking ahead. I'm, I see something's going to cancel. Now I do domain. My domain is everything except for my excluded values. For an interval notation, it would be everything from negative infinity up to the first thing. It can't be a 0, but it could be anything before 0 or after 0. And then after 0, the next thing I hit that I can't actually do is 3. But after 3, I'm free, sailing free all the way up to infinity. Then I cancel. x and x cancel. Leaves behind 4, x plus 2, over x minus 3. I look at my holes. Holes come from excluded values that canceled out. 0 was an excluded value, but it no longer is an excluded value. So I have a hole with an x-coordinate of 0. The y-coordinate I get by plugging 0 back into the simplified equation, the one after canceling. 4, 0, plus 2, or 0 minus 3. 4 times 2 is 8, over negative 3. The y-coordinate of my hole is negative 8 thirds. That's almost negative 3. Negative 8 thirds is between negative 2 and negative 3. So I'm going to put a hole at 0, negative 8 thirds. That looks like it's about where that should go. Then I worry about vertical asymptotes. Vertical asymptotes come from my excluded values that did not cancel out, like 3 in this case. x equals 3 is a vertical asymptote, so I put that on the graph. To the left of my vertical asymptote, I know what the graph's going to look like. It's going to hug the horizontal asymptote, it's going to come down and touch, touch the hole, and then it's going to hug the vertical asymptote. To the right of the vertical asymptote, I don't know, I need to plug in some points. I'm going to plug in 7, just because I see that's going to work well. It doesn't really matter what number you do. I get y equals. I'm plugging it into the simplified one. It'll be easier to plug into the simplified equation than the unsimplified one, in this case, usually. I get 4 times 9 over 4. I get 9. The point 7, 9 should be on my graph. So to the right of the vertical asymptote, it probably looks something like this. And way off of the graph, because we don't have a lot of graph to see here, but it's going to get close to the horizontal and vertical asymptote. Lastly, my range. My range starts off at negative infinity and goes all the way until it hits this hole. This hole, which has a y-coordinate of negative 8 thirds. Negative 8 thirds is not included in the range. Range continues from negative 8 thirds all the way up to 4. 4 is not included. And then it goes all the way up to infinity. My range is everything from negative infinity up to negative 8 thirds, everything from negative 8 thirds to 4, and also everything from 4 to infinity.